New York's very own Reno. Oh, Reno. Versus Hugo or Hugs from the West Coast. Yo, babes. How'd you do? I just want to see what this is over here. Oh, yeah. Where we got gifted by the most generous and great Spooky. Ooh. Love Spooky so much. <laughs> spooky is. Oh, you can thank the staff for that. Actually, they bought it for you guys. So thank you to in. the Apex. I mean, I, the Apex to staff. The Apex staff. It's been it? so amazing so far, and it's just the first day. Yeah, it's, it's just the first day. So shout out to them. Great. Here's a for those of you who don't know, they they brought us some pizza. Oh yeah, you guys probably can't see us because you're looking hey, at uh, the players. Hey, Hugs is the Samus player, right? Yes. He's a uh, Samus exclusive. Okay, thanks yes. guys. And Reno is the Chic and Fox player. So Reno does play a lot with uh, DJ Nintendo, who has a very good Samus, but Hugs is one of the originators of Samus and one of the really the more unique Samuses. Uh, he has a, 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 little, a couple of habits, but which player doesn't, you know? Yeah. But uh, he's, he's very good at reads. Okay, for the last like two to three years in New York, the stage has been called Reno Field. <laughs> he just moves so quickly on the platforms. Let's see if he can make use of them in this matchup to uh, capitalize on hugs. Yeah. I like how Rita's playing right now. He's not being really aggressive. Great grab. He's uh, he's trying to space himself out, throw some needles. Ooh, that was probably meant to be there. a turnaround needle. Ooh. But right now, he's he's giving Samus respect. He's giving Hugs the respect that he deserves right now. Nice grab. Yeah, Reno's definitely playing the matchup properly. He's baiting out Samus' as a defensive option, and then going in for the grabs when Samus commits. But Hugs is capitalizing on every hit he gets, and just because of that, it's an even game so far. I love that. Came down, got a hit on shield, and then got out of there. Because uh, the Sheik's pressure it really isn't that great on shield, especially versus Samus. Because that up B out of shield can kill it like that. Reno's trying to do some run up uh, power shield on the missiles, but not getting the timing quite yet. Down throw forward air, standard Sheik. That's actually one of the very few combos she actually has on Samus. Like, most of her normal default combos don't really work on Samus. So, you're going to see Reno go for a lot of grabs. Great up tilt. Reno slightly missed the sweet spot on the ledge, and uh, just because of that, uh, Hugs is able to get the stock first, but Reno is able to draw blood as soon as he spawns and even out the game. Hugs' use of the uh, Samus' forward air has been really impressive. He's yeah. used it both as an approach and a combo tool, and even a pressure tool right there, as you just saw. So, yeah, it's it's got a lot of hit stun on it. Yep. Uh, surprisingly, so you don't really expect it to have a whole ton of hit stun on it, but it does. Yeah, and because it's multi hit, it has a, a, a lot of chances to shield stab because the first couple of hits start withering down your shield and then the last hit is so low to the ground that it can poke your feet if your shield is not uh, adequate size. Great grab by yeah. Hugs, predicting that you know was going to come down from the platform with his speed. Reno really oh. tr Ooh. Hugs went for a super yeah, read there. Yeah, Reno was really trying to put on the pressure right there. Yeah, as you see there, even dash attack to forward air attack doesn't. Or even calm one time to sell. Reno's just trying to find an avenue here. Because Hugs is not giving him the grabs. Oh, Hugs tries to take the ledge from Sheik. Which is a very effective way of edge guarding her. Because her up has a sufficient amount of lag. So if you can get her to land on the stage, you can almost always just get up with her and then punish her. And yes, so oop. Gets grabs, gets forward aired. Now the thing about Hugs is that he can come back on stage from just about anything. Yep. And Sheik generally has pretty good needle edge guards on Samus's that like to stay out there. But Hugs is very smart about just coming at the stage. You see there, he just dropped one bomb and yep. instantly came at the stage. He's not having any of that needle edge guarding. Uh, yeah, he clearly has a lot of matchup knowledge of Sheik's tools. Yep. Still a very close match. Could be anyone's game here. Hugs taking a second to collect his thoughts. Goes for a bomb shield pressure, but Kimino jumps out of there. Right, he's trying to get some damage in with those needles. I don't think he's necessarily trying to approach with the needles. He's just trying to rack up the damage so yep, his down throw definitely. forward air can work. Alright, gets a down tilt in there. 
Samus is a, is a pretty strong character if you have to approach her. Yeah. So, so Reno's trying to use that to his advantage. The fact that he has a very good projectile to kind of stay out of her out of shield range and not get hit by that move right there. Yeah, and Hugs is doing actually a fantastic job of avoiding those needles. Uh, he's shielding a lot of them, just getting out of range of a lot of them. I'd say about half. Really nice read by Reno there. Hugs is so patient. Reno did three wave dashes in place trying to bait a reaction out of Hugs, and Hugs is not happening. And then when he finally came down, he ate the up beat. It's great patience by Hugs so far displayed in this match. Now that's one of uh, Hugs' trademarks, since he's just a very, very patient player. Oh, I thought he was going to go for the down smash. Yeah, I, I was sure that was going to be a down smash right there, but he's going to get that uh, stock anyway from the Nair. The forward smash was angled kind of downward, so it might have been intended to be a down smash, and he kind of hit the diagonal instead. Mm. Oh, it's greedy going for the grab. Goes for the air dodge, hugs reads it. Doesn't get much damage out of it, though. Yeah, at this stock and uh, this percentage, you usually uh, you'll see the character that's down try to go for go for what is their strongest strongest move, or their strongest option at any given point. I'm surprised Ooh. Hugs opted for so many upbees there. Uh, when Samus gets hit during her upbeat, she actually loses her charge. So I thought he wanted to maybe get that last blast out before losing that stock. But unfortunately, he messed up his recovery and lost it a little earlier than he intended. Yeah, I mean, if you don't have the opportunity to get it out, you just don't. Yeah. Unfortunately. And you have to look for something to make up for that. Great patience Ooh. by Hugs. Okay, nice stage control with that missile. Oh, Force him up onto the platform. Second time he gets that back roll in a row. Oh, great recovery by Reno. He faked that he was going to the platform to make Hugs jump, and then uh, was able to land on the stage safely. He has to throw and the back air, and Hugs right, clutches it up. Great play by Hugs. Can you have me a napkin? Oh, sorry. <laughs> no, it's okay. I have like all of them in my lap. There we go. So we know that, that is Reno's favorite stage, so I'm curious to see where he would kind of pick it. He might switch to... Well, I actually didn't see the character select, so I didn't switch to Fox. I think he's probably going to stay with Sheik, though. Fox Samus is a little awkward if you're not used to it. Yep, stuck with Sheik. Yeah, and Samus is being, being a lighter character is going to die easier on this stage. Uh, assuming that Reno's going to be going for up airs here. Yep. Hugs is he's very experienced in the matchup, so he's probably not going to get hit by down throw up air. Um, he's probably going to DI away, make sure he has to take the fair instead. Yeah, he'll have to sneak it in there somehow. Yep. Maybe if he can uh, punish a missed up beat, that lands on the top platform. And so speaking of platforms, both these characters have up tilts that can go straight through the platform. Yeah. Catch somebody that's hanging out up there. Oh, nice Nair. Just uh, jumping Nair right there. And that's that's what I was saying earlier, how Hugs loves to upbeat to that top platform because it's just all pretty much unpunishable. He recovers before you even come out of hit stun. That's one of uh, great, see, the up air you were talking about. That's sneaky up air. I was going to say, that's one of Samus's main ways of getting back on the stage when she's off stage is double jumping in with a forward air. Uh, the fire is like a really great defensive tool just to make sure she can land on the stage they play. Uh, let's see if Reno can exploit that uh, going further into this set. Or if he's just going to decide to respect it. And I think what he's, uh, how he's trying to get that up air in is by doing like an option, you know, saying, um, you had, I missed this option, but I'm going to go with this option next. And it just covers... Hugs coming down. Yep. Ooh, see? Great up tilt by Hugs. Reno's trying to play patient. He has the percent lead. He's just trying to space out Hugs. Tried to punish the roll with a down smash, but didn't get it. Samus was a little too invincible on her roll. And now he's going to get edge guarded. He's going to go for an air dodge. There he goes. Hugs just couldn't get up there fast enough. His character doesn't really have the fastest vertical mobility. Reno's just trying to get back on the stage at this point. He's taking about 60% without uh, being able to land successfully. Hugs goes for a kind of a risky edge guard and gives Reno a chance, but Reno jumps on the stage. Oh, gets a surprise there. Grapple, nice tech. Oh, really nice tech, and then uh, reacting to that tech, he went ahead and hogged the edge anyway. Yeah, that was a great play by Reno.
Nice gets the grab in. Nice. Oh, that was Ooh. most likely a forward tilt. Mm -hmm. uh, Sheik's forward, forward smash is very punishable. So you very rarely see Sheik's actually want to do a forward smash. Yeah. Ooh, nice tomahawk. Trying to get in those sneaky up airs. Nice push off to get the second back air. Goes for the needle edge guard, doesn't get it. And Reno's just trying to get as much damage on the stock as he possibly can before he dies. And will he get a whole stock off of it? Yes, he will. Great play by Reno to avoid Samus' main approaches. Yeah, and uh, Reno up two stocks right now. And it seems like the stage switch, even though Reno's faster on Battlefield, it's actually helped him that he doesn't have the platforms to fall off of because he's not running into as many attacks. Like, he's not yeah. so eager to be fast that it's actually helping him play more patient and more safe so that uh, hugs can't capitalize as well. Nice empty jump grab. Gets a forward air. Like here's a slap for your trouble, Samus. Cause Samus is like, I'll slap you right back. I don't care if you're a ninja. <laughs> I'm a bounty hunter. Talk to me. Oh, great back air by hugs. That might get him the stock. See if he can punish this. Goes for the neutral air. Wasn't sure where Reno would appear with the B. So he went for the safe option that covered both. Yeah, he but he does, he does get that stock off now. Only at 79%. This is a pretty dangerous percent, but it's not so much a percent that it's out of the question that he's going to come back from this. Ooh, actually fell for the uh, uh, the down throw up air right there. It think, happened pretty quick, though. I think he wanted the up air to hit him instead of the forward air. He wanted to just be on the stage. Uh, by getting hit by the up air instead of the forward air, he didn't have to worry about recovering or landing back in center stage. He just was coming down from the center already. So had he been at a little uh, higher percent, he probably wouldn't have opted for that option. Oh, it doesn't get the sweet spot gravel, but still lands on the ledge. Ooh. Reno slaps the missile, and just like that, we have a 1-1. One, one. All right, we're going to game three. Hug seemed kind of at a loss for an answer to stop the platform camping. He was getting his hits here and there and capitalizing really well on the edge guards, but uh, he wasn't really like winning the neutral game. Reno was kind of dominating it the whole time. Mm -hmm. It was still a close game in the end, kind of. But yeah, he did start to come back a little bit. Yeah. I feel like that one edge guard that he missed where Reno didn't land on the platform kind of got in his head and he's kind of trying to play a little more conservative on his edge guards and he's not finishing Reno's stocks as fast as he should. Great, gets them a big charge blast from the start. Yeah, and when you're behind, people like to play a little bit more conservatively, a little bit more safely. Uh, but if you want to get back ahead, if you want to get that comeback, you kind of have to play all out. Yep. You just want to have to go for the option that says, I know this is going to kill. Maybe this Ooh. not. This Ooh. Ooh. Hugs tried to go for the, the super destruction combo of the dynasty. <laughs> <laughs> but wasn't able to get it. Gets 0 83 on Sheik, though. Trying to get around these needles. It's really hard for slower characters to get around the needles. They move very quickly and they're kind of hard to see. Gets a nice nair. Sheik on the ledge. Oh, Samus so is kind of a slow character, but she does have that wave dash mobility. Ooh, yeah, nice forward smash read. That's something you see Samus do a lot. If someone's coming down from above them, they'll do that forward smash. It's got a pretty big hitbox. Yep. And if it trades, they usually come out ahead. Because uh, Samus has a pretty good weight to her. Yeah, it's. A lot of times. Didn't that forward air at all and just died just now. Yeah, a lot of times forward smash is the best option. It's also the safest option. So it's one of Samus' best moves. Samus is a, is a character that heavily relies on spacing out her moves because almost all her moves have some sort of lag attached to them but when you space them so perfectly combined with the shield sun uh, usually she can get away with using moves that otherwise would be punishable. I go to that top platform. It's playing nice and safe. Right. Trying space to bait him in with the charge fake. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Oh, if he had down, down there, down smash. It would have comboed because Reno was not expecting the down air. Yeah, he tried to uh, read him to uh, tech roll in the center of the stage, but that's not what oh, happened. Good. That's the forward smash and the air you were talking about just now. I was pulling it again and getting that stock up for Reno. Oh, nice up tilt. Tries to go for it twice, but Reno's not oh. having it. 
I'm just so good at linking together moves that you wouldn't think would go together. Yeah. Samus' aerials, they, they link together, but it's in such a way that you really have to sit down and figure it out. Yeah, you have to understand your characters in and out. Now, ooh, doesn't even go for the grapple right there. Oh. I know a lot of Samus's would go for the grapple. Very nice. Hugs with the clutch headshot right in the <laughs> turban. Sheik was like, oh. 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 It's a rough end for one of our Apex. Oh, actually, that was winner's final, right?